Good evening, friends and neighbors. Um, I purchased a product recently that works with my big buck hunter game. Um, this game is a big part of the reason I went a little more redneck than I ever thought I'd be. Um, but it's a fantastic game. Um, Bat claims it's America's favorite hunting game. I am inclined to believe it, what with the arcade versions having, you know, being linked up to the internet and having worldwide tournaments for cash prizes. Um, it's, it's a facet of arcade gaming and like bringing it together with online gaming in a way that hasn't really been done before as far as I know. But I definitely support it because it's still social gaming and it brings people together to play games and have fun. But Big Buck Hunter is one of the few perfect games I've ever played in my life. I've played a ton of video games, um, and there's nothing I don't like about this one. It's really hard to find anything to, to pick about. I mean, some of the animations are a little wonky, but, you know, it kind of adds to the appeal. It's kind of funny. Um, but I love this game, and you should buy it. Um, the reason for this video is about the peripherals. Um, here on my left I have the peripheral that came with it. This is the Big Buck Hunter Pro official licensed gun. You can see the uh, branding on the back there is kind of nice. Um, this is in green and orange so it's kind of a combination of the two controls uh, that you see in the arcades, the green gun and the orange gun. This is a very solid peripheral. has a lot of great things about it. Um, it comes bundled with the game. Some come bundled with two, but they're getting really hard to find these days, so snap them up if you can. Um, you load in the Wii Remote through here, and the nunchuck goes in through the back. There's a little clip that holds the nunchuck down. It's kind of nice. Um, I do like this more than um, on the other gun here, which I'm going to show you in a second. The uh, pump action on this one is a little tighter. feels a little harder to do. It's okay, though. The trigger is shaped more like a real trigger. It feels a little more like pulling a real trigger, but it's a little less responsive. And finally, this is a little um, inconvenient because once you assemble it, it does not disassemble. The stock was put on back here, and the front would twist, but it's not wanting to do that at all anymore. Um, one final note about the uh, features. On the other side, it does not feature the branding. All the screw holes are very obvious, but you know, not really a huge deal. It's for function, not fashion. And then on the very bottom, it has a space um, right here for your wrist strap, which is, I mean, it's a thing you can use it for. I mean, I don't use the wrist strap because, you know, I'm not throwing it at the television. Anyway, um, I got this. It came with the game, and there's big box shootout mode, which you use two guns. Um, and it's not the same if you got one person who has a gun and one person who has a Wii remote. So I've been hoping for another gun, but unfortunately there's not with, a lot with a pump action like this. Um, so I was at uh, GameStop the other night, and I ran across one of the Cabela's uh, Top Shot Blasters. This one does not have the Top Shot branding, but I believe it's the same controller. Um, this one has a few cool things about it. It's a little easier to store because it has this expandable stock here on the back. And one thing I like about it is this is the trigger here. You hold it down and you can push it forward and you can just pull it back. But you can't push it forward without pushing down the trigger. And of course you can push down the trigger and pull it both ways. But um, that's kind of nice. The trigger here is just the exposed Z button of the nunchuck. So it's kind of like a hair trigger. It's a lot easier to pull. The magazine here is for show and it's for function. The, uh, the cord goes up in here, and you can just kind of store it up in there with the magazine. This scope is dumb as hell, and I don't understand why they even put it on there. I guess it's kind of a remnant of maybe when they made this for other consoles, uh, because they do make one of these for PS3 and Xbox 360. But I just take it off, which is cool that you can. Um, you know, if you're into that, you can leave it on there, but if not, you can take it off. It's red through the scope for some reason. It's kind of cool, I guess. You know, fun to play with, but it's completely inaccurate because of the way the Wii works as a light gun. It doesn't work as well as it should, and even with either of these controllers, you are going to be holding them at an awkward angle, so it does take some getting used to. Um, it has the Cabela's branding right here, which I don't care for, but I know a lot of people do. Um, and one of the nicest things is on the inside where your Wii remote is held, these black parts here are hard rubber instead of plastic, like in the official controller. There's no extra padding in the official controller. And the uh, cocking mechanism, you can see it moving down there, is, um, is all hard plastic as well. But here it's that soft rubber. It's a lot easier to cock this one and a lot easier to pull the trigger. Um, and I've just recently played around with both. 
Um, the Buck Hunter gun is the one I started with, and this one I've had for the past week or so. I gotta say I like this one better, but it only beats the one out, the other one out by a little bit. Um, aesthetics definitely go to the Buck Hunter gun, but this one functions a little better because it's easier to pull trigger, easier to cock, and easier to store. Um, definitely worth picking up if you're looking for an extra gun for this excellent game. I hope you enjoyed my review and it helped out. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comments section. Like, subscribe, I'm self-promoting. I'm not monetized, but I like when people watch my videos.